we, before we actually talk about Hari Raya, uh, we just want to remind that actually today is also our last episode yes. for just us Allah, for the past wow. 10 weeks. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That you, you guys have been joining us since I think since the mosque closed, we have mm. started to, to go live and that was the first time. Yeah. We didn't expect to go through until 10 episodes, but your strong support, your viewership and your comments and your, your encouragement, we, we have been uh, doing live for, 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 10, for 10 episodes and yeah. inshallah. Uh, today is the last one and we hope to do the best for tonight inshallah. Yeah, so uh, we just want to say for those of you who are still streaming in, joining in today's Facebook Live, thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight is the 29th night of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. And as Rizal mentioned, you have been with us for the last 9 to 10, ten weeks. This ten, is the 10th. Ten, 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 ten weeks, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, uh, and we truly, truly are grateful for your company. And hopefully it's been a good beneficial last 2-3 months or so. Inshallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Allah. And today we have a very special guest. Uh, Marina Yusuf will be joining us later. Wow, okay. uh, as we can see, I think in the first episode, when we started Ramadan, we, we actually uh, showed a video of Marina Yusuf. And her family, her family, right? family yeah. Allah, Beautifully actually uh, doing Tarawih prayer at home. So as we prepare for Hari Raya, we will uh, get in touch and get an update from Ms. Marina. Actually, it was only like yesterday. Uh -huh. like. Uh, beside Marina, uh, Ustaz Haide from our Asatiza Youth Network will also be joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, Ustaz Haide used to be, I mean, he is still working in a mosque in Masjid Al Iman. He's a youth development officer. Mm -hmm. And of course, we want to keep in touch in terms of how different this Raya will be in terms of preparation. Correct. But before that, Ustaz Shazan, why mm -hmm. don't we recap what we have gone through the past five weeks since Ramadan started? Yes, yeah, so. Uh, very rightly so, eh? uh, we want to look back at what happened for the last few weeks so that uh, we can remember the things that we, which we have learned and bring it forward into the months after Ramadan, inshallah. So, from episode 5 to episode 9, alhamdulillah, uh, together with all of us, we have discussed the idea in the first week. We talked about seeking mercy, finding hope. And the gist of this is that we wanted to remind ourselves that Ramadan is the month of mercy and it is the month of opportunities. Uh, and regardless of the situation, uh, with this pandemic or without this pandemic, Ramadan's blessings are still there mm -hmm. and uh, we should be able to uh, race towards the blessings which Allah is preparing for us in Ramadan. In fact, uh, in that first episode, we actually discussed a simple amalan, uh, acts of worship that we can do regardless mm -hmm. of what situation we are in. Uh, and in that, our tradition actually prepared us in different circumstances that we live in. Yes. Even we, we discussed that you can still perform your salat at home. You yes. can still perform your zakat. Yeah. You can actually uh, still uh, increase your spirituality. Correct. So, Alhamdulillah, I think throughout this month of Ramadan, we have seen people have been doing that. Yeah. We will go through that later with a special video on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Well. So, uh, very rightly so, it's been a good four or five weeks. And I think that... Um, we have adapted quite well, so, yeah, and we will show you the video later on, inshallah. In week two, we talked about Allah's mercy surpasses His wrath, mashallah. As we all know, it's a famous saying that the first portion of Ramadan is about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, mercy and also His forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about His mercy, uh, we remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, despite giving us challenges, He is always putting in a lot of um, pockets of mercy for us to be able to, to get from Him. Uh, and in the week after, we talked about uh, to err is human and to forgive is divine. Now, in that topic, we discussed with um, some other uh, ustazat mm. about the idea of Allah subhanahu mm. wa ta'ala's immense forgiveness. Eh? We make mistakes, right? We err because we are human. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always, always there willing to forgive, eh? to forgive us, us eh? especially if we run to Him. Uh, and last week, the final mm. leg, uh, we talked about this last 10 nights of Ramadan with the presence of Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the night of, of power, Laylatul inshallah. Qadr, inshallah. And to enliven the nights with Qiyamul Layl, eh? yeah. Qiyamul Layl reciting the Quran. So Alhamdulillah, Ustaz Ridwan, um, I think it's been a good Ramadan with our viewers. Yes. We, have, we have discussed a lot of things that we can do together. Uh, and hopefully we can look back and uh, be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what He has given us. Inshallah, uh, just to be reminded that uh, as much as we are already waiting for the months of Shawwal, hmm. we, we, we are bidding goodbye to Ramadan and it is not a feeling that we are too happy, of yeah. course. Ramadan is a special month. It's a blessing that we have been granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. We have been here for 29, today is, we are reaching 29 tonight days. Tonight is the night of 29, 20, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. tonight is the night of 29 and we can still, uh, even with the last two nights, we can still continue to perform yes. ibadah. And let's not stop just because it's already last two nights. We make the best until the very end of this month and how we continue after that, inshallah. Correct. Uh, so don't give up, man. Don't give yes, up. Don't give up. Don't look back at the last 28 yes. days and There's feel still dejected. Yes, yes. There is still there. The chance is still there. Uh, we all know in Islam that the endings of our amalan also matter. That eh? is the best, in yes. fact. Like the, the ending matters and the, how we end Ramadan matters on how we're going to continue beyond this holy month, inshallah. Mm, inshallah. And speaking of Ramadan, um, 
you know that Ramadan 2020, this Ramadan has been a very meaningful and a Ramadan that we call Ramadan to remember. Mm. Uh, it, we are physically um, isolated in the mm -hmm. sense that suddenly we are not able to meet our family members, we are not able to meet our friends for, for Buka Puasa, our, uh, we are not able to even do congregational prayer at mosque or even yeah. Uh, prayer with people who don't live your, at our home. Like yeah. every year, like for example, I'm sure you also pray with your families, uh, your, uh, your parents, your family. And then nearby uh, mosque also. Yeah, right? nearby mosque. But we didn't get to the chance to yeah. do that this year. Uh, but even we are physically isolated, we are spiritually and socially connected and mm -hmm. as close as ever, inshallah. Yes. We bring you this uh, short video as we recap how Muslims in Singapore have been welcoming this month of Ramadan. Yes, enjoy. Wow, so uh, that's a beautiful clip, eh, Sir Sridwana. Yes. Very heartening to see and so many activities actually happening. Inspirational. Um, yeah. Indeed, uh, the tagline call it a Ramadan to remember. A Ramadan to remember. Socially, uh, physically isolated, socially and spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. That sum up our Ramadan. Um, let's talk about some of the things that we have seen. Okay. Uh, the first photos of turning our mosque into our masjid into our home. You know, our home into our masjid. Yeah. So beautiful of how there's a cardboard mosque, uh, mm -hmm. so creatively done, and people praying together. I think this is a probably one in a lifetime opportunity that probably we never pray at home every day in Ramadan. Yeah. But this year, almost all Muslims uh, get the opportunity, the chance to do this. Uh, and you have seen uh, working from home this Ramadan. Mm -mm. Um, I mean, previous year, usually Ramadan, we are busy with work. Yeah, out, out of the house, and going the, to out office. Out of the house, going to office, the daily commute. By the time, sometimes I remember every year last time, when I came back at home, at times there's already Maghrib. Yeah. So I start my buka like after Maghrib. Mm -hmm. But this year, you, before that, you get to prepare with your, with your family members, yeah. with, uh, with your spouse. Uh, and almost every day, for us who stay at home, uh, we get to actually spend buka pasta with our loved ones. Yeah, I think. The, I'm not sure when we will ever get this opportunity again, eh? so, actually. So, 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 so perhaps that's one of the silver lining. Eh? So yeah, um, it's a silver lining. It is a unique Ramadan and Alhamdulillah we are able to, to be here for this unique Ramadan. Uh, and if yep. you mentioned just now about making our homes a masjid, it's mm. as if we can see the homes of uh, the Muslims in Singapore being illuminated eh? yep. with, with all the amalan at home yeah. with the family. The uh, spirit of mosque is very much alive this Ramadan. Yeah, it, it's very purifying. La, it feels very purifying. It's not just Tarawih, but people actually waking up, wake up at night and pray Tahajud prayers mm -hmm. and, and so on. I, I guess also, um, I think people are more confident now to practice um, this Amalan uh, of Ramadan. Eh? And hopefully when Ramadan comes next year, inshallah, may Allah deliver us into Ramadan, then we will be more confident, right? Because we have our, yeah. a lot of, a whole slew of new we imams. We have been trained in this a new, Ramadan. New imams, be, uh, eh? Yeah, so, everybody is now an imam. Alhamdulillah. So we have so many imams, uh, <laughs> even female, who, who lead their own their prayer their, at home. Yeah. You, you are now your own imam, man. MashaAllah. Masha so I think... When we actually go through this, when we come back to the mosque, I think we can appreciate more how 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 we lead our prayer and mm -hmm. how we pray. And subhanallah, I think I, it's a new lesson. Re reconnect with our religion. Eh, yeah, in, reconnect in some, with in our faith. Eh. Uh, revisit our fundamentals and so Besides on. Besides that, Ustaz Ridwan, when we, when we talk about puasa, eh, what, yeah. what, what kind of things did we see people doing with regards to giving food? Um, yeah, we have seen, uh, one is of course, uh, you participate in these official activities. So mm. we have seen that even during this pandemic period, that people are still people are not selfish. 
people going out there. Although, okay lah, some people say this is the opportunity for me to get out. So, mm. by helping people. But actually, at the end of the day, the spirit of helping people. You have seen uh, so many initiatives out there to help the migrant workers, to help, mm. uh, to feed the, the family of healthcare workers, mm. uh, to feed uh, zakat, people, Benef- uh, zakat beneficiary, mm. and so on. Uh, we have seen not, uh, people actually collecting prayer mats, jada, to give to migrant workers. So, so we have seen a lot of initiative being done in Ramadan and how people are actually uh, sprinting to get the rewards so of Ramadan. Eh. We, we, we know that it's eh. multiplied, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. and it's a multiplied rewards, especially in months of Ramadan. It's so as if like our uh, what faith in humanity is restored. Eh? Yes, right? probably even re, re, um, re, replenish, yeah, and, replenish and, and, and even and recharge. Yeah. Yes. Not just that, but even among us, I think uh, we have seen people actually exchanging food among each other. Mm. Even during, with contactless delivery, people surprising each other uh, at the doorstep. Mm. Suddenly, you get, uh, suddenly, your bell actually rings. Yeah, then rings some, and then somebody someone sends food. Definitely, you're asking, who, <laughs> who yeah. is it today from? Who is this from? So, yes. I think it's been a very and it cu- cultivates activity. love yeah. between uh, yeah. one another. Eh, also, so, even if, you, if I'm not able to meet you, the food that you send me, Remind me of you and yes. feel like oh my Allah like as if like we are booker also together yes. even if we are not physically together. Besides that, also Inshallah. we have our seeking of knowledge, eh, pursuing mm. knowledge in in Ramadan. We saw um, some of us post rawe li- tuning in to talks held mm. virtually, uh, and then also um, where we have our just us and as well. Yep. We like to thank our satizas who were here with with us. Yes, a lot of our satizas almost every night have so many. Uh, uh, like initiatives it's not activities. just Asadiza so many other people are doing a lot of beneficial content delivery online that mm-hmm. we can be that we can benefit from correct and also um, we don't, we, some of us also manage to khatam the Quran and then um, are more savvy in paying zakat online mm, so there's yeah. a lot of new skills learned eh, yeah. Ridwan, eh? and most importantly we all stayed home lah. yeah we, we all stay, stay home, home. For, for our faith, for humanity, for our country yes. and for everyone inshallah. so may Allah SWT be pleased with our efforts eh, in Ramadan inshallah I think if you want to summarize our Ramadan it's a it's a Ramadan that we are far in distance, but we are close. Ooh, where have heart. I heard that? Where have I heard that? Masha? It's a it's a very beautiful. Tagline. I'm sure from that video with the projector. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll come to that. We'll come to yeah, that we'll later. We'll come to that later. So, Sajjad, mm. you have a question that you want to ask everyone to help us. Oh, okay, to yeah. So, uh, being very caught up and very emotional in tonight's um, session, eh? Mr. Mm. Ridwan, Mr. Mati, Mr. Shahira behind the scenes, uh, talking about how far we've come eh? and then moving into Ramadan. Mm. So maybe we also like to extend this question to our beloved viewers out there. How are you planning to welcome Hari Raya this year? So please share with us your thoughts in the comment section. Please help out a brother and a sister who might not know what to do. Yep. To be honest, I am still grappling eh, with the idea. Eh? Yes. I know it's going to happen that way. But maybe with all your help, uh, then I'll be more able to be uh, confident lah of how to uh, celebrate Hari Raya at home. Inshallah. Inshallah. So, do, uh, please put it in the comments. How are you planning to welcome Hari Raya this year? Yes. And with that, be, uh, while you are typing your comments, we mm-hmm. will uh, get in touch with Ustaz Haide, who will be with us, who will be sharing with us on how he planned to celebrate Hari Raya this year. Yeah, so, Inshallah, he'll be joining us uh, in a very short while. Yes. Um, but uh, we know Ustaz Haider, he is very involved with the youth eh? So I think there will be quite a, f- a lot of interesting stories he might want to share And some adjustments that he had to make inshallah So if he's ready, Ustaz Haider, are you Ustaz ready? Haider? Okay, over to Ustaz Haider Assalamualaikum Ustaz Haider oh, Waalaikum Salaam How are you? Alhamdulillah yes. Looking good, mashaAllah <laughs> Nice to see you Ustaz Haider <laughs> Are you dressed in Are you dressed in your Traditional raya clothes? Uh, I think it's a modern kind. Uh, it's like kurung but I don't know, cotton. <laughs> wow, yeah. It looks good on you, mashaAllah. Yeah, I think yours is better. So, la, Ustaz Haider, how are you preparing for Hari Raya this year? Wow, I will how like... How are you preparing? It, it's, it's quite a, <laughs> a, a challenge, la, we can say, this, this time, right? I mean, like, we want to prepare for Raya, but at the same time, we know that we, we can't go out for visiting and then... Uh, there are a lot of like restrictions going around all that stuff but I think one of the things that I uh, how I prepare uh, my raya is not to be so extravagant technically mm. you know not not like previous years no, because uh, uh, I, technically I'm, I'm just uh, starting to uh, celebrate raya uh, by myself with my family in my new home right uh, and I remember the, the last year uh, we we prepared, uh, I think, overly. You know, we, we bought a lot of kuih and then you know, we bought a lot of food and all that stuff. And I think throughout like uh, three or four weeks of, of uh, Shawwal, then we realized that hey, we bought so much things. 
Mm. And then, you know, uh, with, with all the, the, the clothes and yeah, a lot of things uh, that we bought, uh, it's quite uh, extravagant. Yeah, and I think for this year, uh, to bring some lessons from Ramadan, I think Ramadan has been quite, uh, it, it, it's just it's just nice. No, whatever that we have, uh, we, we do it uh, among ourselves and all that stuff. And, and that is how I, I think I'll prepare for Raya. Lah. I mean, I didn't really buy new clothes. Uh, my, my son did, yeah. Uh, I think uh, my wife also uh, did uh, buy some new clothes, but I, I didn't. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I feel that and even this Raya right, is uh, in, in my house is Lampu Klak Klik. Hmm. No, because, uh, because I have uh, a, a young, young, young small boy, right? and yeah. I think he likes lah, the Lampu Klak Klik. Right? Just, uh, you know, uh, prepared it like two days ago. And yeah, he was amazed by it. Like, he was just like sitting there and just like look at the how how the lights changes and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, so, so I think that that is like the mood lah. Uh, the yeah. mood is like quite happy lah. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's good to know. It's good to know that you are still um in the mood for Hari Raya. Eh? I think yeah. uh, I think to put it very um briefly is that your Hari Raya is simple yet special. Eh? It's simple, yes. but it's still special. Eh? Yes, you articulate my words wow. very perfectly. <laughs> wow, you are too kind, Mr. Haider. <laughs> but really, because uh, when you mention your son, eh, uh, mm. we try our best to still impress upon our children that it's still something to be festive about, eh, Mr. Haider. Eh? Yeah, of course, of course. It's, it's a joyous day. Lah. You know, even though uh, we are unable to physically meet uh, the elders, our mm. parents, like, you know, you, me, uh, we all stay in our own homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, our parents are still uh, are living somewhere else. Hmm. And not like, uh, I mean, like for you, right? Hmm. Um, I think they are they are quite uh, lucky, lah. You know hmm. that they are still staying with their parents. Hmm. Right? Yeah. For us, we are not staying with our parents, so uh, technically, it's something for us to be sad about, lah. Right? You know, we cannot go there. You know, it's it's a tradition where we always go there, seek forgiveness. You no, know, we we find that that particular time is a special time for us, but uh, we, we we can't, right? Yeah, we can we cannot do that. So. Uh, I think for for young people who are still staying with your parents, you know, consider yourself lucky because you are able to, to stick with them. You are they they are able to prepare for you good food for mm. Hari Raya. They are they are uh, preparing the, the house to to be to be uh, food uh, to be prepped mm. like you know Raya you know that that feeling lah. Yeah, so like that. Mm. Yeah, so, mm. So you will miss your 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 parents lah, being with, being with your mother eh, on on uh, Hari Raya. Eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hari yeah. Raya. How you plan to connect to your family members mm. on Hari Raya? Okay. Yeah. Uh, interestingly, uh, we, we just discussed this uh, just now over WhatsApp. Uh, are we like still meeting? You know, technically meeting for Hari Raya. Or are we like you know, uh, you know, still still uh, everyone is like because now uh, I have my family right, and then my wife has her family, mm. and mm. then. Uh, the extended family, technically, with uh, the grandparents, you know, uh, with the elders, uh, you need to arrange the timing properly, lah, in terms of uh, trying to congregate, lah, trying to uh, be every everyone to be at the, at the same time at one place. Yeah, so uh, I think the best way is to just I don't know Skype, Zoom, uh, mm. something like that, right? Yeah, using the technology right now that we can, but. I think the the more important thing is for us to be able to continue to have that really that meaningful relationship with our families. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, even though we, we cannot be there uh, physically, but it is very important that we should know that in our tradition, seeking forgiveness uh, on Hari Raya is something that is special, and we should continue to do that. You no, know? even though if we cannot, uh, you know, do it. Uh, in terms of like virtually, you know, like face to face, because there's a lot of people. Call call up your parents, you know, just just talk it out uh, over the phone. I mm. think that is quite meaningful too, right? Yeah. So I think that is a tradition that we should continue. You know, we, we should not say that you know Raya is cancelled because we cannot meet each other. Yeah, but but there, there's there's uh, a lot of other ways that how you can make it meaningful, uh, You know, if life throws you lemons. You know, make lemonade, right? Wow, uh, wow. Articulate, wow. you articulate beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, thank you, thank you for giving me motivation. Uh, I'm still wondering how yeah. to celebrate, so I think I will uh, listen to some of your advice. And make lemonade. <laughs> make lemonade eh, for, for <laughs> the family members. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you, Saida, maybe you can... Uh, <laughs> maybe you can share with us uh, a message 
a message to all the viewers and perhaps maybe to your youth, um, uh, the, your most youth, eh, a message that yeah. you have to share with them, perhaps? Okay, so uh, again, uh, when we look at Hari Raya, uh, even though we are uh, in this current uh, circuit breaker period, uh, COVID-19, uh, the pandemic and all that stuff, uh, we shouldn't look at it as a morbid kind of and they, you know, mm. it's a sad and they are, we, we cannot go out, we mm. cannot visit, uh, we don't have like, uh, do it raya, all that stuff, right? Mm. So, uh, I think that the, the, the first thing or, or the main idea of celebrating Eid al-Fitri, like on the first day, uh, even you know, is to, is to see yourself as uh, a victorious person that you come out from the month of Ramadan, you know, uh, having to spend the whole month trying your best to be a better person. Yeah. And again, you, that thing should be continued. Now, you should not stop whatever that you have done in the month of Ramadan, uh, in the month of Ramadan, right? Uh, be it in your generosity. I see that a lot of people uh, uh, sending food anonymously to towards others, yeah. right? Uh, I, I, that is like, like to me, it's a good trend that you, know, you can still continue to, to share food with people. And usually even during Hari Raya, I think uh, we we share food with our neighbors, right? Yeah. So I think the generosity should should continue. Um, and uh, again, when 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 we see that ourselves is victorious from the month of Ramadan, then it becomes uh, meaningful. Mm. Right? It, it, become, it becomes joyous. Mm-hmm. Right? It becomes something that is festive. You know, you, you don't you don't you don't just like I'm um, just like gonna uh, wake up uh, mandi and then I'm just like gonna. Eat then sleep. No, don't mm-hmm. do that. No, uh, just try to make your, your day something that is joyous for okay, at least uh, for the. I will take note. I will take note. I will take note. Yeah, uh, please <laughs> and also please wear your best attire, right? For for your for your solat raya, right? And while listening to the khutbah, you know, just just try to live it in in your home, lah. Right. And I hope that uh, if we can continue to do that, then our our homes will be joyous and meaningful, lah. Right? Uh, we, we have like uh, Mawadda, Sakina, Rahmah and all that stuff. Allah. Yeah. Wow. Powerful. That's a very powerful and speech. <laughs> like we are so so mesmerized by that. Yes, thank you so much. Allah, thank yeah. you so much. Keep, keep you... it positive, guys. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes okay, okay. We will try. <laughs> and we wish you some Ahir Raya and yes, Ma'azai Batin. Yeah. 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 Allah, 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 Allah. Thank you. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see you soon sometime when it's safer. Okay. Okay. Allah. Assalamualaikum. Alhamdulillah, thank you. Thank you so much. And that was to start her day. Subhanallah, oh, very powerful positive. Powerful sharing, yeah. We positive like, sharing. We were, like, we were like, quite like... Uh, unsure, bit, eh? Yeah, um, unsure and a bit... Um, I think the mood that we have set just now was a bit sad in that sense. I mean, it's uh, natural. Lah, natural Ramadan. Living Ramadan, ending, Ramadan and right? Then, yeah. And then the Hari Raya is a different Hari Raya. But Ustaz Hari Raya actually see it from a very positive uh, perspective. I like the fact that he said that Hari Raya is a day of victory that we should uh, celebrate mm-hmm. and and also and he said like bring ramadan outside of outside Raya of Raya. Raya. and then the only way to celebrate and make it joyous is to, to be generous yeah uh, to be a victorious person is to continue to be generous yeah. by by actually touching the life of other people we are touching our own life yeah. and, and make our home uh, beautiful and joyous inshallah wow we I, we have thank you comments so much from this. from many of you uh, let, let me just read uh, the first one from, from Rina Hussein. Mm. You've been tuning in from episode one, I believe. Thank and you very even much. Even you've been watching us for our other shows like mm. our Ramadan journey. Uh-uh. Thank you so much for, for being with us. And you already mentioned here, it's la- last episode already. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, last episode, inshallah, for this season, we will, uh, inshallah, uh, we may not be able to do this every week beyond Ramadan, uh, beyond this period, but we'll see how. Uh, give us your suggestion how you would like us to do this live uh, in, in the next few weeks, inshallah. Yeah. You also mentioned that, Rina Hussain also mentioned that uh, virtual takbir and Zoom Raya will start. Oh, wow, okay. So, yeah. Shazan, so we can do virtual takbir and <laughs> Zoom Raya. That would be cool. Yeah, that will uh, make Hari Raya very joyous. Yeah. Eh? So, we have uh, Hishamuddin, also a very, very familiar friend of ours. He says, Raya and eat prayer with family at home, having Raya feast at home and Zoom Raya with my cousins. Well, it doesn't sound that bad after all. Yeah, it eh? doesn't sound that bad. Raya and Zoom with your cousins. That would be quite... Amazing and yeah. you might need a bigger wall. Yeah. No, that's the thing you see. Like like I realized that um when I was doing some Zoom catch up with some friends mm-hmm. over uh during Ramadan, even when we actually do visiting, sometimes we are busy with so many things, like busy with handling uh kids, for example, mm-hmm. busy with uh, 
with our spouse talking about other things and there's so many things and then sometimes we go to people house for example like the 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 host will be busy preparing food yeah. so you don't have that opportunity to actually chat that long but suddenly in ramadan all of us we, we chatted for like a good two two and a half hours wow. on zoom catching up and i realized i didn't i don't think we have catch up solid two hours mm. like this so i think that's that's something also about high raya lah. like we don't have to rush we have to go to the next house yeah. so you have the because everyone is there rather than you have to go to each house to meet different people yeah. you get to meet everyone in the same Zoom room, Correct. for example. But I also, but I think those platforms, we can also have breakout rooms. Eh? So yeah. maybe the, the, young, the younger ones can break out <laughs> oh, into the other room. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I never thought of that. So the kids can go to their yeah, own to the room. breakout room and do whatever they want. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, we have a comment from Farhana. I'll read this. Uh, she says, Virtual Takbir, eat prayers with my family, Zoom Raya with mom and si- mom, siblings and in-laws. Uh, perhaps you want to continue the comment? Sorry, Don. Yeah, um, I think that's all that we have for now. Yeah, so, but, sorry. She says, yeah. despite all the challenges and setbacks, we can still... Celebrate Raya. Yep. We, we make do with what we can. Of course. Um, but uh, Farhana, you mentioned about virtual takbir, eat prayers with mm. family, Zoom Raya with my mum. I think, I think that's what Ustaz Haidi actually mentioned. It's mm-hmm. like, uh, for those who are staying with your parents, you're more fortunate, of course, you say that you get to celebrate Raya with your family. I never not celebrate Hari Raya not without my parents wow. through, throughout my life. Amazingly, this will be the first year physically we will not be together. Mm-hmm. But like I said, Zoom is another... In fact, we have already discussed on how to do Zoom. Yeah. So probably that will be the new thing that we can try. Uh, so inshallah, you can be physically apart, but you still close at heart. Correct. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, speaking <laughs> of that, go back to our day of victory. Mm. Um, as much as sometimes people think... I mean, there are people say, okay lah, dah macam gini, since we are mm. like this, we don't have to celebrate Raya lah. Yeah. So we can just sleep or what after solat, for example. But... No, let, no, let, don't need to dress up. Yeah, no need to dress yeah. up. But l- l- let us be reminded that Hari Raya is not, it is a very integral part of our faith tradition. Yes. It is a tradition where the Prophet ﷺ so, so, so. actually uh, celebrated. He himself, the Prophet celebrated in different circumstances mm. during his life, during the life of the, the companions and so on. But they never missed to celebrate uh, Hari Raya. Why is it so, so, why is it so important al-Adha. for them to celebrate? So, what, what were they celebrating actually? What, yes, the success th- that's a good question, Sr. Shazwan. Um, well, we all know that Idul Fitri is known also as the why why it's called is the day of victory. Mm. Victory against what? It's mm. a victory against a fight of good versus evil, mm. a fight against your 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 desire, uh, abstain, abstaining from things that you have been mm. enjoying all this while. In Ramadan is that school that you actually do it. You fast the whole month of Ramadan. You increase your faith. You increase your spirituality. Allah, yeah. And after this whole one month, God give us this day for us to celebrate. And we celebrate by proclaiming the words of God, invoking His yeah. His 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 mercy. His name, eh? His, His mercy. Name. We are being thankful to Him for being thankful granting to us the whole month of Ramadan. Yes. So all the blessings that we are able to enjoy in Ramadan. Eh? Like wow! I mean, the fact that and of course this year, I think the the celebration should be more meaningful in the yes. sense that we are given a very different, special, extraordinary Ramadan, True. and we are celebrating Hari Raya in these circumstances. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, we have to to admit this is not a Hari Raya that. Which we were accustomed to lah. You're accustomed right. to or the kind of array we actually really, really want or ideal mm-hmm. because of all the, I mean, it's the, the global pandemic still happening. Uh, again, there's a certain limitations. Mm-hmm. But we try our best with our limitations because in Islam, our tradition, we can still celebrate. It's important also to note, however, that in celebrating it, uh, celebrating Hari Raya, mm-hmm. um, the Salat Hari Raya itself in Islam there are possibility to actually spring at home. Mm-hmm, yeah. Although it's been our tradition to pray in, openly, in, in, yeah. pray with in others. Right? Communal. But within our faith, there are permutation, there are possibility to do it at home. Mm-hmm. So you see, our faith is very much contextualized, not just contextualized, but it gives you the, eh? the, the reason you can continue celebrating in mm-hmm. whatever circumstances that you are in. Um, so this year, we are not able to do it in congregation, mass, in a mass congregation, mm-hmm. but you can do it in the comfort of your home just like we have been uh, celebrating Ramadan. Yeah, and with our loved ones, eh? with, with our, our loved ones. Whoever staying with us, lah, your parents, yes. your wife, your children, eh? you have spent a lot of time with them in Ramadan and I guess it's very apt that we would we celebrate uh, Hari Raya with them this also. Day, eh? um, yeah, it's a, it's a culmination of a whole month of this practice, a whole month of abstaining and a whole month of sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Yeah. It's a sacrifice. We are sacrificing from, from not going out, we're sacrificing from, from not meeting our parents physically so that the world is getting better, mm. our community is safe, and so on. And, uh, and we know that, I think in our, when we discussed our, I think the second episode, mm. uh, Make a Home or Masjid, 
Uh, mm. We discuss about the the virtue of you being quarantined, the virtue of you not staying, uh, mm. virtue of you staying in during pandemic. And mm. this was a, the teaching from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you sabar, patience, and everything, and you expect the reward, inshallah, the reward given to you is a reward of a martyr. Mm. Subhanallah, imagine that all of us, inshallah, will be given this opportunity to get that reward. Come to think, isn't this a blessing from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and that we should be thankful? Yeah. What well, first we be thankful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And of course, we seek forgiveness for our wrongdoing. And third, we seek Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We hope for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to grant us cure and so on. And we 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 achieve the real victory one yeah, day. Yeah. So now, uh, now we know eh, what what we are really celebrating. Eh, yes. Right. Now we really put yeah. into perspective what is the success and celebration of that of that success about actually. And just just back to the tradition that I mentioned just now. Uh, mm. Actually, go back to this hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he 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 actually arrived in Madinah, mm-hmm. he saw that the, the people of Madinah were celebrating some festivals. Mm-hmm. So he asked, what were they celebrating? And then they said, these are the festival that they used to celebrate during the Dark Ages. Mm. Then the Prophet said, uh, Allah has given you two celebrations that you should celebrate every year, and this mm-hmm. is Idul Adha and Idul Fitri. Mm-hmm. And Subhanallah. So it, this is not just a celebration that we create. This is not just a celebration of a of an ethnic right. celebration, mm. but it's a celebration of faith. Yeah. So this high raya, we we should celebrate in a way that is possible, in a way that make everybody safe mm. and so on. I think you put it very rightly. Yeah. So um, let's not be too sad. We yep. deserve to be victorious, inshallah, and be joyous about that victory. Yes. Uh, um, let's zoom into Idul Fitri mm. itself. Eh? Because uh, you mentioned this hadith where the Prophet said two days of Eid, but uh, we are talking about Idul Fitri mm. in, in this sense. And when we talk about Idul Fitri, then we have this word Fitr. Eh? Yes. Uh, when we when we listen to this word Fitr, we we are reminded of uh, an Arabic term uh, which is Futur, eh? which mm. means to feast. Feast. We have Iftar also, right? Uh, perhaps also the, like Ustaz Haider mentioned, eh? mm. the true way of showing a victory. Because hopefully we have transformed positively for for the better like in Ramadan and. A good sign to mark that first day outside of Ramadan is to uh, once you stop um, your fasting and you feast, you also share that goodness, share the food with uh, people around you. Eh? Mm-hmm. And that's also the hikmah behind Zakatul Fitrah also, right? The reason behind yes, Zakatul Fitrah Zakatul is Fitra. to uh, ensure that um, the vulnerable in the community also get to celebrate that joyous occasion. Eh? Your social responsibility in terms of uh, providing the needs of the people who need it more. Yeah, so uh, even in celebration, it's not merely celebrating something we don't know what, what we're celebrating it's not just celebrating ourselves but it's celebrating with the community of yes. people around us eh? uh, and in this situation through online lah, through technology mm-hmm. and whatnot uh, and hopefully by doing this we are actually showing our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings he has given us and hopefully we also return to a pure state uh, a state of fitrah inshallah eh? Ameen inshallah. Ameen Rabbal Alameen yeah Yo, so mm-hmm. sometimes people think that Hari Raya is the day where you need to wear new clothes okay Yeah. Uh, is this a new clothes? No, this is from my two high rise before. <laughs> yeah, this is also not a new clothes, eh? And this is not a new clothes at least. So, um, I I am reminded of this uh, very wise saying, eh? Mm. Um, it, it it reads: "Laisa al-idu liman labis al-jadid inna mal-ida liman ta'atuhu ta'atuhu tazid," which wow. means. Hari uh, Raya is not merely for those with new clothes, but Hari Raya is for those who manage to increase their acts quality of devoteness. Yes. Powerful, eh? So, wow. so it's yes. not just the material. Yes. It's not just um, you know cladding yourself in something which is uh, nice to look yep. at, but it's also about increasing um, your goodness, your your good deeds, and your closeness and nearness to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Eh. It's the essence of what is the celebration. Yeah, it's, it's not just about. the tangible or the material. Yeah. I think this is part of a longer excerpt of uh, a wise saying. Eh? So there are other examples given lah. Because I think mm. it is also part of the sunnah actually for you to dress the best. It, It the is. best clothes you have on that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's not exactly necessarily need to be a, a brand new one, but as long as it is something that is um, the best you have mm-hmm. and more presentable on that day. Yeah. So uh, it, I guess this puts um, Raya into good perspective. Eh? Yes. So I'm, not, I'm not saying we shouldn't celebrate by wearing nice clothes. We, of course. We can, but also we are supplementing with good deeds, yep. good actions. Don't let Ramadan just pass us by and then yeah. we don't bring any of it into yeah. the next month. I mean, that, that's what Ustaz Haidah was mentioning, that just because this year Raya at home, We suddenly we, maybe we pray our raya wearing our t-shirts and so on. I mm. think um, I think we still need to celebrate, respect this day. Uh, the festive mood should still be there mm-hmm. and put on our best clothes. Uh, inshallah, yeah. uh, and then we get the feel of 
because we are praying to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, yes. and we are celebrating it because this is the celebration that He have given Correct. Has given us. There is also this other saying, eh, uh, uh, scholarly saying, which reads Kun Rabbaniyan wala takun Ramadaniyan. It's also uh, like a good catchphrase. Eh? Yep. It means uh, do not do not be, oh, yeah. a do not be a servant of, uh, or rather be a servant of yeah. Allah. Do, do not, not be, be a servant, servant of Ramadan. Ramadan. Meaning only in Ramadan we are the best Muslim that we can be. I mean that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. It's a transformational period, right? Mm -hmm. But outside of Ramadan we are also supposed to be. Uh, as good if not better eh? yes. Ramadan is that platform to catapult us to something better it's not just something which we look forward to uh, in the year and then just focus all our deeds in that month Ramadan is a training ground yeah. so you don't just leave after after finish your, your, your training suddenly you, you leave everything that you have mm. studied or go, went through for the past one month so Ramadan is like yeah. a booster so yeah. if you like fasting in Ramadan then outside of Ramadan you can do the Sunnah fast Monday, yep. Thursday, eh, three, yeah. three days in a month. In Shawal also you have six days. Six of days Shawal, eh? especially yeah. in the in the CB period, eh, Ustaz Idwan, eh? Yep. Uh, then yeah. besides uh, fasting, if you like your salat sunat taraweh, you can do your salat sunat witir outside mm. of Ramadan. Witir is applicable any mm. day, any night, not just exclusively to Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, if you like to donate this Ramadan, then continue donating and helping. If you like to give people food, you can continue. Mm. Inshallah. So Inshallah, lah, I mean we are set, but we know what to do in the, in the next month. Inshallah. And with that, I think we should move to our next segment because right. it's a very special segment. Mm, why is it special, Sir Ah, Because we have a special <laughs> guest that is going to join us. Okay. If you remember, uh, when we start our Ramadan this year, mm -hmm. we started with a video of a family uh, that, 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 that actually performed Taraweeh at home. Mashallah. And that was, and that was actually uh, Sister Marina Yusuf. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see in that video, we have watched how beautiful the family and I think, mashallah, I think after seeing that video, many people probably also think, I'm going to do that with my family. Yeah. And that video, we will start Iran Hadi actually explain the, the, the positioning, the, eh? yeah, the, the, the technical prayer. steps and so on. So I think, I'm like, hopefully that was a beneficial video. Mm -hmm. So we have seen if uh, we have uh, we have seen how, how actually Marina Yusuf celebrated Ramadan. Now we want to get in touch with her and get update on how she planned to celebrate Hari Raya. We can finally hear you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, terima kasih. Thank you very much. Okay, first of all, thank you for actually joining. Okay. For joining us. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we know that you are very busy as well, and and I understand that today is your <laughs> husband's birthday too. Yeah. Yes, happy birthday. Yes, <laughs> Happy birthday thank to, to Mr. Thank Adil, you. right? Okay. Um, yes. Thank so, you. So so uh, we have seen from your we have seen from your video we have seen from your yeah. from your video. Uh, how you actually you you pray uh -huh. properly during Ramadan and then every night uh, on your Insta story mm -hmm. how you go through Quran Tadarus with your with your kids. So now that uh, Mashallah. Mashallah, that is very beautiful sharing and we really like <laughs> that. Um, and now we're going to we're going to Hari Raya and we know that Hari Raya yes. will be continued in this period of uh, COVID nineteen circuit breaker we're yes. out. How you plan? How do you plan to celebrate Raya this year? Okay. Uh, first of all, I think uh, Hari Raya this year will be very different, uh, very uh, meaningful because uh, because of the situation uh, and we, the whole family, I think everybody in Singapore, everywhere, uh, have this uh, a change of mindset. Eh? Uh, instead of uh, every year we having a celebration of everything is, uh, if you can see the, the Malay community everywhere in Singapore, uh, every Hari Raya for new clothes, uh, new things in the house. So essentially, if we reflect back for this year, nothing actually at all because we can see no bazaar, no shops, uh, baju and all that. So. The mindset already changed during the even the Ramadan itself. So, uh, a lot of things that we can actually uh, reflect eh, uh, for this Hari Raya this year. For my family, uh, myself, uh, I think my children, uh, the kids lah especially because they know every year they're going to get a new uh, baju Hari Raya for example. But I think because of the, the mindset that we actually... Uh, uh, how to say it? Eh, uh, during the whole period, uh, a lot of things that kita reflect, uh, it's not going to be the same, it's going to be, even Ramadan, is going to be a very unique Ramadan that you will not uh, to have anymore for maybe next year, next five years. This 2000, uh, 2020 Ramadan will be very meaningful, very unique, very uh, different. Lah. It's the same thing as uh, Hari Raya. So I think when the mindset uh, like that, kan, so 
we are ready to face everything. For example, uh, Hari Raya for for everyone. This year is more as what Ustad uh, actually explained before. It's like uh, we know the meaning of uh, Idul Fitri itself is like uh, kembali to fitra, back to fitra. So for 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 me, I actually um, translate at our point. Uh, uh, the the meaning of kembali to fitra to me for this year hari raya is back to be very sederhana very moderate very uh, seadanya lah uh, the the Malay word is like yeah. seadanya it's like whatever we have that is what we celebrate and the most important is the ukhuwah the silaturahmi the kemaafan the minta maaf and to reflect what is actually happening during the whole of ramadan eh? when we minta maaf to i think everyone will Definitely, uh, menitiskan air mata and to to reflect back apa yang the whole Ramadan that we did together. I think that's the meaning of Hari Raya for this year. Yeah. How do you plan that you mentioned minta maaf and everything when it's going to be different? You're not able to visit your par- our parents. Yes. How, 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 what, what, what will change this year? <laughs> okay, the plan is... Uh, we know that we not going to go, go out and uh, go to our parents' house, uh, my parents' lah, eh? my my in-laws, or maybe their grandfathers, uh, their grandparents. Eh? So oh, every year, memang uh, before before we go out, not, we will have this eating together, solat hari raya. So everything will be the same as what uh, we going uh, is going to be because uh, we can solat Idul Fitri. Mashallah, it's going to be very meaningful uh, together, and then. Uh, as uh, minta maaf uh, salam salaman and all that but we're not going out so what we're going to do is we're going to call uh, we we can uh, actually uh, we plan to have a zoom together with my in-laws and also uh, my parents so and it's also their grandparents so what we're going to do is also minta maaf hmm. the difference is just we cannot hug we cannot kiss but yes the um the the feel and also the kemaafan is still the same. We go, we're going to do to do the same. Yeah. Mashallah. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, when we listen to Hari Raya songs, they say from afar I seek forgiveness. So it really it really is that way. Yeah. This, this year, there is Jahu kubohon kubohon ampun dan maaf. It's like like dulu is only those in the uh, apa ni overseas eh mm-hmm. like uh, studying overseas uh, kubohon mm-hmm. maaf dari jauh. But even we. Maybe staying just one block away yeah. or so. <laughs> it's like that. It's all kupon maaf. Mashallah, yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, have you been preparing with your family like uh, kuih, kuih raya, new clothes? Yes. Do you yes. still uh, um, oh, do those okay. things? Uh, clothes, no. Not at all. Because we have uh, we have a lot of clothes before. So, we just maybe pakai whatever we have, ambil gambar, you know, mix and match mm-hmm. as long as the same colour, tone or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's going to be very unique. Mm-hmm. So, something different. Maybe this year, no need to be the same colour lah. Everyone <laughs> different colour also can. <laughs> so, something is memorable lah. It, mm-hmm. It's as long as it's, it's together. So, uh, baju hari raya is a no, but we still wear baju kurung for for early in the morning. It's a must. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, masak hari raya, mm-hmm. I still masak for hari raya the night night before and we're going to uh, actually hantar uh, makanan Hari Raya to my in-laws place, wow. to my mom place. Wow. Yeah. Sayu, uh, sayu. Delivery. <laughs> yeah, delivery kan uh-uh. macam Ramadan juga. So, halau Hari Raya and also the night before, malam Hari Raya uh, already the cookies that my uh, my kid, apa ni, my anak memang buat cookies. Mm, wow. So, they buat crib cake and all that ready to distribute lah oh. to all my families. Mm-hmm. The malam Hari Raya oh, itself. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. A family get yeah. together. So, masih gotong so, royong Hari Raya still there. Mas- masih, masih. Mm. Masih together. Even this during Ramadan mm. every night we gotong royong. Wow. Baking and all wow. that lah, mashallah. Mashallah. Really Maybe you have uh, a message, uh, a parting message to our audience. For Hari Raya, yeah, is yeah. it? Okay, I think uh, my message is just I think maybe uh, as what uh, Ustad also mentioned earlier, this Hari Raya is everyone eh for us is to reflect, is to actually um, kenang balik. Uh, hari raya yang uh, the only hari raya yang diperintah berkurung mm. ah, I say mm-hmm. it's like sebenarnya if we take a look many many years for all this while uh, 
uh, a lot of uh, out there, uh, the needy, orang-orang susah, the refugees. You know, we we take a look at our senior citizens' homes, mm. our orphanage homes. Uh, dah lama mereka berkurung inside the mm. inside the house during hari raya. Mm. So this is to show that uh, kita. Uh, Allah tu nak tunjukkan lah eh, bagaimana rasanya uh, nikmat. We we cannot say uh, satu beban tidak tidak is not at all. Satu nikmat yang hari raya tu you cannot go out and no meet everybody. But instead of that we uh, cherish and we appreciate the people that uh, inside the house. Mm, For example, yeah. our family. For the whole Ramadan we see each other every night. We buka puasa to see their face every night, which is Last time kita be so busy that we can't afford even to book a puasa with them. Yeah. But this uh, Ramadan, the whole Ramadan, and even Hari Raya is time to sit down and reflect and lihat orang-orang yang kurang bernasib baik di luar sana, yang dah lama berkurung, yang dah lama tak boleh keluar, yang dah lama tak pakai baju Hari Raya. Hmm. So why not kita hmm. uh, feel the same way kita rasakan what actually perasaannya is kita rasa sangat bersyukur the moment we we feel that masyaallah i think we are more bersyukur we are more thankful of the nikmat yang Allah berikan pada hari raya Idul Fitri this year masyaallah Masya itu saja thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you for sharing this you the best of hari raya selamat hari raya selamat hari raya to both of you Thank you so much to your family also. May Allah accept our our deeds, eh? Inshallah. Amin, amin. Takkan Allah. Hope to see you soon when it's safer. Yeah, hope to see you when it's safer. Inshallah. Amin. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wow. Apa tadi sekali ni? Ah, awful sih. Celebrate seadanya. Seadanya. Wow. Thank you, wow, so thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sister Marina. Uh, now, another uh, powerful sharing. Yeah, another wow. powerful sharing tonight. Wow. Maybe you want to share uh, just a, a little bit of. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Marina, for joining us. Uh, Marina Yusof, uh, our uh, local celebrity, mm. and you have seen in our video as well, and how she's going to celebrate this raya. Uh, I think she, uh, the, the idea of empathy was really empathy. drilled in. Eh? We try to feel wow. Uh, maybe for us, this is the first time we are celebrating raya in lockdown mm -hmm. or in circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. You cannot go out. But there are a lot of people who've been celebrating. This is a norm for their raya. For example, people who stay in homes, uh, nursing homes, mm -hmm. in the orphanages, those who have no family members. This have been their, this have been their high raya, mm -hmm. and they have been doing this. So wow, uh, I think that's a very good reflection. In the sense like we get to feel what other people are feeling, yeah. and don't take this as a burden. Not don't take this as a burden, mm -hmm. but instead as an opportunity, as to, a blessing to bond to, to bond further with our family. Eh? Yeah. Another point that that I, that I was very much uh, intrigued by was that celebrate raya moderately, hmm. seadanya. So whatever clothes that we already have, we we use. Uh, we don't need necessarily to buy a yeah. new ones. Uh, spend more time, quality time with people at home, hmm. and maybe the the missing of not being able to meet our loved ones, not from our home, will foster our relationship even better. Inshallah. Correct. I mean, you mentioned this, I don't. I. I I haven't been buying uh, new clothes uh, that frequent lah hari raya lah. But my wife said this year, you know, uh, you haven't you haven't been buying for a long time. So maybe you can buy just one, mm. just one, a, a very simple one, uh, so that we can take a photo together lah. Mm. I wasn't I wasn't so much in the idea, but she said let's take a photo together. Uh, so alhamdulillah, I got a, a matching baju raya wow. with my family. Uh, wow. And settle for you. Yeah, my wife, my wife also made me like this brooch. So she wants me to be in the mood. The one that you're wearing. Yeah, she wants me to be in the wow. mood lah. So. <laughs> After listening to all of you speaking, mm. I think I got more semangat. Ah. Insyaallah, hopefully Insha more Allah. motivation. Ah. Insyaallah. Thank you so much, uh, Marina, for sharing with us beautiful way of how we should celebrate Raya. Yeah. And speaking of that, uh, we are moving to where we are talking about how we can celebrate Raya mm. in our circuit breaker period. Yeah. Uh, in fact, there is an article that I wrote shamelessly promoting <laughs> uh, on how we can celebrate Raya in circuit breaker. There are five ways, so you can read more in that circuit breaker period mm -hmm. because I think we are almost uh, reaching 10.30. But maybe just I summarize what's being, sure. uh, being written there. Okay. Um, that we know that Takbir Raya is one of the things we actually should proclaim Uh, should, should actually in, uh, invoke Allah's name, invoke Allah's eh? name recite the takbir. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Quran, Allah mentioned it's a very popular. Wali tuk milun idata wa tukabbirullaha ala mahadakum wa la alakum tashkurun. And to glorify Allah for for which He have guided you, and perhaps you will be grateful. Mm -hmm. So this is from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 185. Yes. Um, 
And then talking about takbir, eh, Ustaz Edwan, mm. uh, we know that we can do takbir from uh, the malam raya, the mm. night of Hari Raya after Maghrib, all the way until uh, we've done the Salat Hari Raya, right? Yes, just before we start our Hari Raya prayer. Yeah. Then, yeah. And for this, Alhamdulillah, we have, uh, we have a lot of initiatives to facilitate our takbir with our loved ones at home. Mm. Uh, we all know that we have this virtual takbir session uh, with the Mufti, eh, Sahibu Samaha Mufti, Dr. Nazirudin, and yeah, our local we... Asatiza. Uh, so actually, there are two things you can mm. do. One is actually you join the community takbir, where um, the whole of Singapore will be doing our takbir. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have to do our takbir at the tinkap or what, like, like singing, <laughs> because this the takbir have a certain certain way of doing it, uh, certain, certain decorum, adab, yeah. certain oh, yeah. decorum, and so on. So we, we we celebrate God's name in a very uh, positive way in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, are, so we can follow the takbir from our mufti. The, our mufti will be joined by our satiza on that night. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch Salam SG TV YouTube. Uh, at 7.45 p.m. And also, here at Muslim.sg, we'll be doing cross-posting of that Takbir Live. So you can join us from 7.45 and Takbir together with people from your home. I uh, think it will, be very it will be a very moving experience. I, I kind I, of I looking forward, yeah. especially our, you know, the Takbir in the Malay world is very uh, mendayu, sayu, mendayu, mendayu, very, yeah, very and I think the, the, the sayuness will be more felt, felt. this year. Yeah. But it's okay, you, 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 as we Takbir, we also reflect on the blessings that Allah SWT has given us. And maybe think about the blessings that we used to get before this and we're not getting it now. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll appreciate that more. Uh, um, what else can we do on the day of uh, morning of Hari Raya itself? So morning of, of Surah Raya. Acts, maybe you can, can continue some... doing the Takbir, mm -hmm. uh, Takbir Raya. Uh, so if the, at night you can... Okay, again, just now I mentioned joining, joining community Takbir. Yeah. But you can also do your own Takbir with your family members mm. who, who in your own home. After the Mufti Takbir, you can do on your own. Or you can continue actually doing Zoom Takbir with your family members. Yeah. Or even let's say, we know that not everyone have the access to technology. technology like okay, mm. uh, not everyone. And again, I want to emphasize this. There's no need for a projector. <laughs> I know that the video I've been talking, it's a, it's a visualization of the drama with projector. But <laughs> we don't have pro you don't need a projector. I don't have projector at home and I'm not it going to do It can be as simple as just A calling. simple call. Yeah. A simple call to your family members to, um, to catch up, just say hello and say, that we are celebrating Raya, a voice call matters yeah. and means a lot. Just turn on the speaker, then yeah. you can do takbir together. So yeah, you can still do takbir together through through call or video call, Skype and so on, inshallah. But on the day of uh, Eid, uh, with a community takbir, we have um, In the morning, this jom takbir, right? Jom takbir at 7.30, the whole mosque of Singapore will be doing it. Wow. So, so different, different Facebook pages of our mosque, you can go and look for it. Uh, inshallah, as, at Muslim SG, we'll be cross-posting one of the takbir on the, yeah. in that morning, on that morning. You mentioned about some of the Sunnah Act of Hari Raya. Yes. We have an article on that too mm. uh, by Ustaz Abdul Martin. Uh, so Ustaz you can read more. Uh, but some of the Sunnah that we know is you eat before you eat before you, you salat. perform the prayer. And you, you take a you special take your, bath, right? Yeah, you, in the morning. Ritualistic bath. Uh, and then um, you do the wear tabir, perfume. Wear perfume. Wear yeah, the best clothes, yes. the nice clothes. For yeah. Salat Hari Raya lah, mm. inshaAllah. So we just find a good spot, uh, a nice spot. Uh, and after doing all the Sunnah Acts, uh, me and my wife and my daughter, we will be performing the Salat Eid. There's a lot of gui guidelines already on social media from mm. Muslim SG and from the masjids. From the Office of Mufti from as well. From Office of Mufti as well. So just follow through uh, and um, and just do it together uh, and bond over that, that Salat. Lah. Do yeah. you need to give a khutbah at home? Do you need to have that that that, <laughs> that, 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 that tongkat? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> what is it thing called? What is it thing called? Staff, right? No, Staff, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, we, I don't you have that. Your I don't have that. I don't. I don't have that. So, uh, but alhamdulillah, we can follow the the khutbah yep. by our beloved mufti. Eh? Yeah, Dr. we don't have to do our own khutbah, but we can watch our mufti live khutbah to be broadcasted at 9 a.m. live on Salam SG TV as well. Mm -hmm. That will be in Malay. In two, uh, two languages, eh? Yeah, the English one will be uh, at 9:30 a.m. Yeah. So when it comes to Salat Raya, you you can start around. Uh, maybe half an hour after shuru, and maybe we just put it at 7.30 mm. lah. Mm, yeah. 7.30. And don't be afraid lah about the number of takbirat. Uh, everything is already in the guidelines, in the infographics yeah. that you more, can More find. information you can get from our article again mm. on Muslim SG. We have a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform Salat Idul Fitri. What to recite. What eh? to recite, the seven seven steps, I mean the seven takbir and five takbir on the second rakaat. Mm -hmm. And there's a video prepared by uh, at Salam SG TV as well. Mm -hmm. the, the video is... Uh, it's available in Malay and also available in English. Yes. So yeah, go to Salam SGTV and watch this tutorial. It's very beneficial for first time Hari Raya Imam. I think yes. most of us will be first time suddenly being an Imam for Hari Raya as well. It'll right. be cool actually. It will be. Uh, <laughs> and what's cool also, we know that we discussed that we'll have a virtual Raya visit. Raya visit. Uh, as mentioned a lot already, Zoom if your Raya visits, uh, don't need a projector. <laughs> and if you're not, you can at least just have a voice call eh? and yes, maybe just 
throughout the whole day spend time with your family inshallah uh, i think uh, my miss marina already shared quite a lot on how you can actually make the best of your raya yeah. and with the idea share about how to turn it into a festival uh, to have a the festive, uh, festive mm. mood on that day yeah. put on your best clothes celebrate it eat good food and catch up with our loved ones correct through, through through calls and other technological means no, speaking of catching up with our loved ones we want to read some of the comments that give us a new opportunity a new horizon a new perspective towards life and towards ramadan itself um the next um, comment from next comment from tak beraya eat prayers with family at home the best for because my malay and mashallah malay and chinese neighbor i love this in the sense that even we are in this period we want to continue sharing the joy of shawal with people who even not part of our community mm. but our larger community mm. our neighbors um yeah our chinese neighbors malay neighbors i think there is a spirit of togetherness that we as singaporeans actually cherish and as a muslim we do um said couldn't visit my parents i'm sure he said i think me and shazwan are very sad yeah, too that both of us will not be able to to meet our parents mm. I'm, i don't i don't leave my parents such as also don't leave yeah. his parents so Yeah, I mean, every time we talk about that, we getting sad. We we will get sad, and I think you're you're right when you say you're sad. We can feel it too. Um, but we'll seek forgiveness to them through Zoom, and also continue Zooming with my sibling. Mashallah, almost everybody. Ah, Zoom is getting rich this year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so enjoy Raya cookies, Inshallah. Mm-hmm. Just go with the flow of the day. Inshallah. That's the thing about us being Muslim. We adjust. We make the best yeah, of it. Yeah, and again, that is Hari Raya. Celebrate. Moderately, so the yeah. way, the best that we can. Mashallah. Wow! Thank you so much for all wow. your comments. Thank you Please for keep comments. it coming uh, yeah, for the benefit of everyone who's still watching. Some But of the comments will be shared on Salam SG TV as yes. well. So check out Salam SG TV on the night of Hari Raya. We have this right, Ustaz Ridwan. Yeah, and for yeah. those who have commented, Inshallah, uh, do message us that you have commented, and we we'll give you this free. Any uh, book? Em- this is back. not envelope Raya. <laughs> envelope this, Raya. Is, uh, <laughs> this is a book uh, special. Uh, uh, notebook lah. Notebook actually. Yeah. 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 If you have done this 10 weeks so yeah we have done this 10 <laughs> weeks so yeah so yeah this can be a high raya gift also lah eh? oh, um, oh yeah gift. we have queer right here um not big by any no. of us though yeah anyway um so yeah thank you so much for your comments now we want to say that ramadan is not over ramadan eh? is not Study over why ra- the month is over the spirit of doing good uh, and radiating goodness is is far from we still over. have two two nights two days oh, yeah um, even do, this ramadan yeah, is tonight, not over tonight, the month itself is not over so two, don't give up uh, hopefully two nights because we only know how raya and mufti actually make the announcement yeah so the, uh, we we don't know eh, but uh, we know that we still have a few more nights of ramadan so inshallah uh, innamal a'malu bi khawatimiha mm. uh, and that all of your actions will be judged based on the beautiful endings eh? so yep. hopefully this ramadan will be a beautiful ending for all of us in L- terms of our ibadah yes eh? let end this with a beautiful ending and as we end our episode for 10 weeks, we want to thank everyone yeah. for being with us uh, and on on our part also we like to apologize for any shortcoming that mm. we have uh, through our technical glitches uh, maybe sometimes we both of us were not that quite prepared or some or yeah, some bloopers thing. some glitches. bloopers because this is live and we are <laughs> this is the first time we are doing live this ramadan anyway so we hope you can forgive us and hopefully you've been benefiting from our sharing in terms of in terms of bloopers our uh, rather being forgetful before we forget Uh, we want to also remind our uh, viewers to pay zakat. Yes, before, if we have not yeah. uh, fulfilled our third obligation, mm-hmm. our third mm-hmm. pillar, yeah. uh, we should uh, we can pay zakat online. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go to zakat the SG um, and look up for some of the other Muslim SG programs that we have. Yes, we we are, we are not done yet. Although we are done with our just us, uh, tomorrow night we still have a live kulia with ustaz. We have a live kuliah with Ustaz um, Fizar yeah. on uh, welcoming Hari Raya, mm-hmm. and then on Saturday morning we still have the final episode of our, our Ramadan, Ramadan journey. journey, and our Ramadan journey will be uh, a new hope, right? A new hope. Mm. It's the title of a Star Wars movie. Yeah, a new hope. But it is a new hope for us as we celebrate this beautiful month of Shawwal. And we uh, have also a special IG live Raya. Eh? Oh yeah, IG live Raya. I forgot about that. Oh. So it will be on uh, Saturday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, night. Uh, and Saturday night as well with our Satiza Youth Network. Yes. So inshallah with every hardship with every hardship there will be the release release there will be inshallah uh, and uh, with every beginning there is also an end yeah with every beginning there is an end so um, uh, i guess we have come to the to end the end wow no i think that <laughs> <laughs> no i miss that that this moment not has come with, we'll not be with you for yeah. uh, we've been here for at, at least every other every other week Correct. even also, at home Well, we can be with you, of course. Of course, we start Mati, we start Mati, we start Shahira, working very hard behind the scenes. Uh, Thank you very scene. much. So, 
And you know that it's not been easy also to, to do this during the circuit breaker period with all the limitations that we have, but we try our best. But because of you, we are able to do this. And of course, it's a blessing of Allah SWT. Allah. Again, um, before we end, we would like to get in touch with people who have been with us uh, behind the scene. We get Ustaz Martin. He has uh, a message for all of you. Yeah, he has a message for all of you. <laughs> Let me find a message. There's no voice, so he just <laughs> gives you that message. Make wow. the last days of Ramadan count. Wow, mashallah. Make the last days of Ramadan count. We still so, have it. I guess that's about it. You uh, saw Sashahira waving also, so it is signaling the end of yeah, our then. just asiwa end. Thank you for being with us. May we get the best of Ramadan. May Allah Amin. subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our Amin. needs Amin. and give us the best. Amin. And we wish that uh, that uh, that we be given the to achieve ultimate victory against Amin. COVID-19 pandemic. We pray that a vaccine will be Will be, will be found soon Amen. and may the world be healed from this pandemic inshallah Amen. and we work together to be a better people inshallah so we'd like to end off by wishing all our viewers all our out viewers, there Selamat, Selamat Hari Raya Aidil Fitri Maaf Zahir dan Batin Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh